My name is Mimi Hudson and my research is on the underdiagnosis rate of diabetes and its associated factors in older adults in Mexico, China, and South Africa. This research was done with Alicia DeLuise and Josh Snodgrass. Um, so the reason that we did this research is because underdiagnosed diabetes is a problem in many parts of the world, despite all of the negative health effects that underdiagnosed diabetes is associated with. And so previous studies that have been done on type 2 diabetes have shown that there are increased rates globally, and these increased rates are closely related to changes in lifestyle and socioeconomic status. However, these studies fail to report the underdiagnosis rate of diabetes, and this is really reported because of the need for multiple measures. These measures include a blood biomarker measure, which in this study was HbA1c, and a self-report measure. The objective of this research was to describe the rate of actual diabetes compared to self-reported diabetes diagnosis among older adults using data from the World Health Organization SAGE study, which is the study on global aging and adult health. The hypothesis was that the underdiagnosis of diabetes would be associated with being male, being unmarried, being less satisfied with healthcare, having lower wealth or socioeconomic status, and with decreased physical functioning. And so the methods um, used were um, H taking HbA1c from GIBE blood spots, which were analyzed in each country separately, and values equal to or above 6.5% indicated diabetes. Um, unfortunately, with HbA1c, you cannot tell the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And the um, diabetes diagnosis self-report, um, the question that was used was, have you ever been diagnosed with diabetes? And so the results indicated that 7% in China, 10% in Mexico, and 77% in South Africa had not been um, previously clinically diagnosed with diabetes, and so that means that percentage of people is undiagnosed. And so the people who were diagnosed with diabetes, so 94% to 98% that had HbA1c indicating diabetes and self-reported ha having diabetes, reported receiving healthcare the last time they needed. But those who had diabetes but were not diagnosed reported their health as better than those who had diabetes and were diagnosed. And so table one shows that the underdiagnosis was associated with being male in South Africa, but not China or Mexico, and associated with having less wealth in China and South Africa, but not Mexico. Looking at figure one, we can see that Mexico has the highest rate of diagnosed diabetes, and South Africa has the highest rate of undiagnosed diabetes. And so the conclusion is that the actual rate of diabetes is much greater in Mexico, China, and particularly in South Africa, with the 77% as compared to the self-reported rate. So the data shows that the underdiagnosis of diabetes was associated, again, with being male in South Africa and having lower wealth or socioeconomic status in China and South Africa. Contrary to the hypothesis, marriage, physical functioning, and healthcare satisfaction were not shown to be related to diagnosis of diabetes. Um, and the issue with having undiagnosed diabetes is that health in those that do um, have diabetes but do not report having ever been diagnosed with diabetes um, could rapidly decline if healthcare services are not utilized. And the reason that these healthcare services are not utilized or the most likely reason is because they perceive their health as being okay. And so one of the main conclusions is that having um, regular health screen is very important even when health is perceived to be okay. And so um, those who did have undiagnosed diabetes but were otherwise healthy are not utilizing healthcare services, which is um, showing that even though their health seems to be okay, it's not um, they have, an, they have an underlying disease of diabetes, which can lead to a lot of other associated diseases. And some of those diseases include cardiovascular disease, possible blindness, possible amputation, and a myriad of other associated diseases. And so I would like to thank the participants in this study, um, the PIs of this study, and all of the statistician of the study, and all of those listed in the COWAL at all paper. Um, 
I would also like to thank Alicia DeLuise and Josh Snodgrass for helping me conduct this research. And um, I would like to conclude by saying, um, under diagnosis of diabetes is a problem in a lot, in many parts of the world. So getting health screened is extremely important, even when you perceive your health as being okay. Thank you.